What's going on everybody, I'm back for another episode of Pokemon Life Platinum. In the last episode I made it here to Esmeralda City. And in this episode we're going to tackle the Botanic Lab. While that's off screen, I leveled all my Pokemon up to level 24. Except for Growlithe who was already on level 26. And yeah, we're going to tackle the Botanic Lab. Uh, if you can tell, my voice is still a little bit sore. But I shall be able to make it through the episode, at least I hope so. Uh, so let's throw on the team steam uniform, which is basically like a bike, because I'll show you a little something I discovered off screen. You can do bunny hops on the with the team steam uniform on. So instead of walking, we can skip all our way to the botanic lab and head inside. So these guys say Marina and Terra, the great team steam leaders, are inside, or they're behind the attacks, but we gotta protect them or whatever. But as soon as we go inside, the team steam uniform gets taken off because it's essentially the bike. So uh, let's just start by taking on this trainer, I guess. Team Steam here is here to take control of everything. Alright, so... In the last episode, I kind of discussed all the stuff I've been doing on YouTube recently. What with, uh... Uh, Pros is Awesome, Nin the Nintendo Bros, and the, uh... What was the last thing? Uh, New Next Century Gamers. And also sending a submission into, uh, Munching Orange for his fan spotlight, and the, uh, Legendary Gamers channel to see if I can get up on that channel too. So yeah, I've been pretty busy, but uh, I think I should be able to juggle everything. I'm kind of pretty good at juggling stuff that's uh, in around the same sort of, what I try to say here, it's in the same uh, genre, I guess we could say here, because it's all to do with YouTube, so I can, all, I can pretty much maneuver that around pretty easily. Anyway, defeated that trainer, no problem. And yeah, I'm not going to be in the next episode of Process Awesome next Thursday because I have a place to be on that Thursday. So I probably won't be able to upload it for them until Friday or some other day because, um, yeah, I won't be here, basically. I'll still try and get an upload done for my channel, but I don't, I won't be able to make the Process Awesome, uh, podcast because we usually record that at, like, 8 p.m. our time because we're all in around the, uh, the, uh, United Kingdom, Ireland time zone, so yeah, we're in around that time zone we're all able to record at the same time. So yeah, it's on a, we record around 8 o'clock usually and I won't be I won't be home at that time, I won't even be home until the Friday I think. So uh, yeah, I won't be a member of that, I'll still probably upload it for them the next day of course, but uh, I won't be able to do it straight away. So there's a headbutt, and even with Intimidate we nearly take it out, it's using it used Rage which will uh, make its attack stat uh, higher, I think it does. It just, yeah, I think it's kind of like that. It makes their attack stat a little higher. Anyway, there goes Sandile, and that is level 25 for Snorlax. And we feed the Team Steam Grunt. So, let me decide on uh, who I'm going to use next. I didn't mean to go to the back. Let me just take the Lucky Egg off Snorlax, and we're going to switch Scorpio to the front goes we can so let's give him the lucky egg and there we go so we'll see what Scorpio can do here Scorpio is probably one of my favorite Pokemon that I have I actually like all the six Pokemon that I have but I have no real favorite but if I were to pick a favorite it could be Scorpio it could even be uh, my low tick because of how powerful it is anyway this team steam grunt has a Growlithe which is not a very good match at all for Scorpio so I think I'm gonna retreat into my low tick which is kind of awkward it was kind of weird or ironic how I said that I'd probably choose between uh, Scorpio and Milotic to be my favorite Pokemon of my party, and I just like have to end up switching into Milotic to take on this Growlithe. Anyway, let's go for Water Pulse. And see if I think we should be able to take this thing out. Yes, we can. So down goes Growlithe. And next Pokemon is going to be a Sandile. So I'm going to actually go back into Scorpio because Sandile is a ground and dark type. And I do have Pin Missile, which is super effective on Dark types, so we should be able to take this thing out. Uh, it's on level 21. I'm still, I, I'm still kind of over leveled, but not too much, I guess. So Pin Missile uh, does okay, I guess. It, we did get our attack cut by Intimidate, so unless it hits four times or five times, would be really good. And wow, way to go, Scorpio! You actually hit five times. So down goes that Sandile. And Scorpio gets 559 experience, halfway up the bar towards level 25. And the bad thing about Scorpio is that it's not going to evolve for a really long time. I think it's like level 40, so I got some time to wait to actually evolve this thing. Uh, let's see if we can take on this 
trainer. So it's just another team steam grunt. They don't have names. Uh, this guy has a Dribloon, a ghost and flying type. So again, not a good match for Scorpio. I'm just going to retreat into a Lekid. And Shadow Tag prevents me from switching. That's great. Let's just go for Bite, I guess. And see how much damage we do. And uh, it's decent enough, I guess. We can probably take this thing. Unless Gust does a lot of damage. Which it doesn't do as much. It did about as much as my Bite did. And they were both super effective. So, uh, three more Bites. Well, two more. And it flinched, which is great. So maybe this Bite could get a critical hit. Oh, he has like one HP left. And it flinched again. So way to go. Uh, Scorpio, oh, I forgot his name. Scorpio, way to go. You took it out with a Bite and Poison Sting combo. And get a lot of experience to get to level 25. So that's awesome. Next Pokemon is going to be a Sand Isle. I think I could just stay with uh, Scorpio to take on this thing. So Intimidate, once again, cuts my attack. That's perfectly fine. We're just going to go for Pin Missile. And it outsped me this time. The other one didn't. And our accuracy is lowered by the Mud Slap. And our, at least our pin missile still hits, so that does more in round the same damage it did to the last Sandal, if not a little bit more. And it hit four times, which was enough to take it out, so way to go, uh, Scorpio. Oh, it's so reliant. So there is, uh, 559 experience, and we're up a decent way towards level 26. But I'm just gonna switch someone else to the front of the party, because he's on level 25. We're gonna go with, uh, Elegance, the Milotic. So I'm going to give it the Lucky Egg, which you're probably going to be seeing a lot of uh, Lucky Egg switching because it's a good way to level up Pokemon. So let's take on this Team Steam member. And here we have Team Steam Grunt with a Perloin Dark-type Pokemon from uh, the Unova region. Let's just go for a Water Pulse. And that's a 1 KO, so that's great. 600 experience, not a lot to my low tech. Next Pokemon is Sandal, so that's thing, yeah, this thing will go down to 1 Water Pulse without question, because it's super effective. So, Water Pulse. And I really like Sandal, it's Fall Form. Uh, Crocodile and Crocodile is really cool as well. So yeah, Sandal is probably one of my favorite Generation 5 Pokemon up there with uh, Excadrill, who's probably my favorite because it's so strong. Uh, Excadrill, yeah, is definitely my favorite Generation 5 Pokemon. So, here we have uh, Team Steam Grunt with a Shellos on level 21. So, that's a uh, ground and water type, or is it just a water type whenever it's Shellos? Let's just go with uh, Bulbapedia, just to be sure, because we have Razor Leaf, which would be super effective. And Hidden Power does nothing because it's not very effective so let's go for razor leaf and see how much damage we can do and uh yeah nearly take it out so one more will finish it off for sure and hidden power again only does one hp worth of damage so let's just wrap it up with a tackle and wow it survived why didn't i expect that shellos is pretty good it's pretty bulky and it's pretty strong defensively, so I should have really expected that to not take it out. Anyway, there's 640 experience to Elegance, 427 to Bulbapedia. Next Pokemon is Duskull, the uh, ghost-type Pokemon, so we'll just go back into Milotic, who's nearly on level 25, which is great. So we'll just go for Water Pulse. And a V2 a KO. Disable is going to disable Water Pulse, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, there's no point in using, uh, my low tick anymore, unless I just, like, wait for it to wear off. But I don't think I should do that. We'll just go with Bulbapedia again, I guess. So, in comes Bulbapedia to hopefully finish off this Duskull. Astonish is gonna do not a lot, so Razor Leaf will hopefully finish it off. And it doesn't. It's, like, 1 HP, so Nightshade will do 21 HP for the damage. And Razor Leaf to finish it off. So down goes Dust Skull. And 325, 217. Not a lot of experience each, but it's decent, I guess. Uh, let me just heal up my Ivy Sword with a Super Potion. And I think if we come over to this room up here, 
there's a Pokeball here, but it's not an item, actually, if you take a look. It says there's a Pokemon inside, and it's Zorua. So, uh, I'm taking the Zorua, but I'm not going to use it. But we must have a free space in the party, so we can't take it. But yeah, if you wanted to use a Zorua, then that's perfectly fine. You can just get one there. I already have my team full already, actually, with my six Pokemon, because that's going to be the six Pokemon I use all game. So, yeah, there's a potential, uh, Dark-type Pokemon for you guys. You can use Zorua. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. But we're not going to use it. So let's just move on and take on this trainer. So here we have Team Steam Grunt with a Grimer on level 21. I assume this will take one Water Pulse, or at least I hope so. I think Grimer is more physical, defensive, and... Uh, Coughing was meant to be the more. Alright, oh, never mind. It'll take more than one. And poison gas is going to poison my Milotic. So let's just go for another water pulse. And actually, I don't need to use a uh, potion or anything, or yeah, not a potion, an antidote or Petra Berry, because I have refresh, which will get rid of my uh, status infliction. So, we're no longer poisoned. And it used disable, and that's going to disable refresh. So that's perfectly fine with me. I'm going to finish this thing with a wrap. So we'll wrap it up with a wrap. And there's a uh, level... Whoa, that's a lot of experience for beating a Grimer. There's level 25. And he's trying to learn Twister, Dragon-type moves. So I'm going to teach that instead of Water Sport. Because Water Sport totally sucks. And I'm never going to use it. So, there's Twister. And a lot of experience nearly up towards level 26. Next Pokemon is Balatoy. We're going to go with, uh... Now I'm going to stick with my... My low tick. And let's go for Water Pulse, which should be a 1-hit KO because it's super effective. And take it down. So down goes my, uh... There it goes Balatoy. Next Pokemon is Sandile. Now I'm going to switch into Bulbapedia. So in comes Bulbapedia, and in comes Sandile, it's on level 22, so let's just go for an Ember, or Ember, what am I talking about, Razor Leaf, I was thinking about Growlithe for a second, I said let's go for Ember, uh, so stupid, there we go, there's Razor Leaf, there's a one at KO, and 390 experience, decently enough, uh, let me just switch someone else to the front now that my Milotic's on level 25, we're gonna go with Elekid, let Bulbapedia take a little bit of a break, because he's just come in to take out Pokemon, I don't really need it to uh, do anything else. So there's the Lucky Egg, and let's take on this trainer. Alright, this guy doesn't even battle, so uh, let's just head up here. And here we have the two people, we can actually walk around here and uh, talk to them this way, I guess, so... Alright, he doesn't even let us talk to these guys. Uh, this guy doesn't say anything, so here we have uh, Sheila. You again, you idiot. How do you keep managing to screw up our plans? You won't stop us this time, because Marina and Terra, the two leaders of Team Steam, are here, and they're strong enough to beat any trainer with ease. But I'll destroy you myself. So, another battle against uh, Team Steam admin Sheila. So, it's uh, admin Sheila with a Haunter that's on level 22. We're gonna go with a Lekid. Now we're just going to go for a Thunder Punch. I probably should have went for Thief, because it would be super effective. But Thunder Punch will probably be enough. So it used uh, Curse, which will cut its attack, which will cut its HP and have to lay a Curse on us. Which is basically like a poisoning in a sense, because it does damage every turn. But down goes Haunter to one Thunder Punch, just because of the Curse. Next Pokemon is going to be Driplin, which is who I was actually hoping would come out. Because it is uh, level 26, it's a Flying and Ghost type. But because it's a flying ghost type, it's weak to Thunder Punch, so that's good for Elekid. Let's see how much damage we can do here with Thunder Punch. Uh, near around. Uh, whoa, we got Paralyzed, which is great. But it's uh, just a little less than half. So I'm going to go for Thief and then follow up with Thunder Punch if I can survive. Because, uh, <clears throat> because of the uh, Curse. But it's fully Paralyzed, so it didn't get an attack in. I should be able to survive Curse. I doubt it's going to take 30 HP. So let's go for Thunder Punch and finish off Drift Blim. So down goes Drift Blim. That was pretty easy. And his last, or her last Pokemon is going to be Per Ugly, which is going to be really annoying to take out. So 
Perugly is on level 25. We're afflicted by the curse. And that finishes me off. So, unlucky for that kid, I probably should have switched. Uh, let's go for Bulbapedia. And yeah, this Perugly... Perugly is annoying. Is a really annoying Pokemon to take out. And Hypnosis. I should have expected that. And my trunk is getting a little bit sore now, so... You'll have to excuse any, uh... Voice cracks or stuff like that. Or coughing, I do. <clears throat> Just like that. So, yeah, it's actually... It was getting a little bit dry, or not dry, it was getting a little bit blocked up, so I had to cough to kind of get it up, I guess. <laughs> so, Faint Attack is not doing a lot of damage. Hopefully, Bulbapedia will wake up and hit this thing with a Sleep Powder. And we woke up, and Sleep Powder hit. So, I can uh, go for Leech Seed next, just to make sure I'm getting HP back every turn. And then I should start going for Razor Leaf. So, let's go for Leech Seed, now that Progly is asleep. And how does it evade the attack when it's asleep? That's stupid. Ugh, uh, alright. Here comes another Leech Seed. And wow, it just keeps evading the attack. I guess I can't hit it with Leech Seed. So we're just gonna have to go for uh, Razor Leaf straight away. Not straight away, I guess, because it's been two turns. Uh, hopefully it'll hit me with like a physical move. That's good, because then uh, I'll probably go down to decent HP and be able to get Overgrow, which will increase the power of my Grass type move. And Fury Swipes missed, so Razor Leaf will hopefully finish this thing off. And down goes Perugly. So, all the Pokemon of Team Steam Admin has been defeated, so we defeat Sheila. Impossible. I'm much stronger now, but you still managed to beat me easily. What's going on? Well, it looks like you're getting stronger every day because you managed to beat me again. But you got here too late. Marina has taken the Blue Orb and Terra has taken the Red Orb. Sheila, quit playing with him. Let's go. Terra and I have to take the two orbs. Now we just have to go to Cianport City to finally achieve our goals. Let's go, Team Steam. Hello, friend. Thanks for helping us. I'm Esmeralda, the gym leader of Esmeralda City. This is Professor Rowan. Why does he have a Team Steam sort of sprite? Uh, okay. Uh, this is Professor Rowan. He's from Sinnoh, but he's in this area studying the Pokemon of this region as well as some ancient legends. Thanks to your help, Esmeral Esmeralda and I, were, and I were captured by these Team Steam members while we were res researching the blue and red orbs. Team Steam stole them because they have great and terrible power. Our research on into the orbs has been stopped. I'll return to my gym. I'll continue the research. Goodbye, Professor. Come challenge me at my gym, Stu. Alright, so let's just head out of here. I don't think Professor Rowan even says anything, so I'm just gonna leave and head uh, outside, I guess. It's the only thing I can say. And everybody's back inside the botanical laboratory, which is good, so the receptionist and stuff are back. Anyway, let's just head and heal up. And I think I might do a little bit of exploring of the uh, of Esmeralda City, Esmeralda City while I'm here. Or I could save it for the next episode, because my trope is getting a little bit sore. I don't think I'll be able to last the rest of the episode. So, yeah, I think we're just going to head over to the gym, because there's some people over there we have to talk to first. And then I'll wrap it up. Actually, you've talked to this guy with uh, six Pokemon in your party. You get an Eevee egg. And I don't know how I got that Eevee egg, because uh, I guess it must have went to the PC, because I have six Pokemon with me. It still gave it to me. Anyway, here we have... Uh, Rhett Ash. Thanks, dude. We helped a lot. Now I'll go after Team Steam in Cianport City. Esmeral Esmeralda told me they came to the city to further their plans by getting the red and blue orbs. I'll do my best to defeat them. I'll be waiting for you there, Stu. I'm off in search of new adventures, but I'll look out for you too, Stu. Alright, so Red and Ash, catch them, leave. And that is actually going to wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon Life Platinum. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like and stuff would be a massive help, and subscribe if it's your first time watching. I don't like to be pushy, but it just it would help me out a lot. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys for more shortly enough. See you then, goodbye.